In this interesting question, we have got two circles with radius 36 cm and 9 cm which are touching each other and have got a common tangent. Now we are putting a third circle which is in between these and tangential to the two circles and the common tangent. Now we are putting one more additional fourth circle here which is tangent to these two circles and following this series we are putting one more fifth circle here. Question is using this data we have to find the radius of blue circle. So this video will not only solve to find the area of blue circle but in fact if we have got a fourth circle or a fifth circle we'll just derive a plain simple formula to find the radius of nth circle. For our solution we'll use the formula to find this radius of small circle which we derived in video number 85. The formula says 1 upon root of r3 is equals to 1 upon root r1 plus 1 upon root r2. So here these two circles are touching each other and this is the third circle which we had drawn here. So using the formula 1 upon square root r3 is 1 upon square root r1 plus 1 upon root r2. Putting the values of r1 as 36, r2 as 9, we can find 1 upon r3 is 1 upon root 36 plus 1 upon root 9. Now this we know is 1 upon 6 and this is 1 upon 3. Solving it further, we'll get r3 as 4 cm. Now here comes the trick for the further circles. What we'll do is we'll take this brown and this purple circle as the two original circle and this red circle the, is the circle which is inscribed in between these two and the common tangent. So here in the formula instead of R2 basically we'll use R3 and instead of R3 we'll use R4. So the formula will become 1 upon R4 this is the circle which is inscribed is 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R3. So putting the values R1 is 36 R3 is 4 solving it we'll get 1 upon root r4 is 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 2 or 2 by 3. Now both the sides will take reciprocal and will square both the sides to get r4 as 9 upon 4 centimeter. So we have got this radius of r4 as 9 upon 4 centimeter. And yes this chain will continue now. So we have got this brown circle and red circle these are like original circles with a common tangent in between these two circles and common tangent now we are inscribing an another small circle that's this blue circle so the formula will become the radius 1 upon root of r5 this is equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r4 now here putting the values r1 is 36 r4 is 9 upon 4 so we'll get 1 upon root 36 plus 1 upon root 9 by 4. Solving it further, we'll get 1 upon root r5 is 5 by 6. So again, taking square on both sides and then doing reciprocal, we'll get r5 as 1.44 centimeter. And what about instead of 1, 2 or 3, there are 10 circles and I have to find radius of very very small 10th circle which is fitted here. So can we derive a general formula? So answer is yes and it's really simple formula. So here the R1 radius we can find with the help of this formula. How about R2 radius? So when you are finding for R2 instead of Y we'll have to consider R1. So the radius of R2 can be found with this formula. Now in this formula 1 upon root R1 we can replace it with this particular formula. So instead of 1 upon root R1 I'll write 1 upon root X plus 1 upon root Y. And 1 upon root x plus 1 upon root x that will give me 2 upon root x. Now same way when we are going for r3 we will replace the value of 1 by root r2 with this particular equation. And in the end we will get a general formula 1 upon root n is equals to n times of root x plus 1 upon root y. So let's check out for our blue circle that's the third circle here. So here 1 upon r3 will be equals to 3 times of root 36 plus 1 upon root 9. Solving it further we'll get r3 as 1.44 centimeter. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I'll see you in next video. Till then tata bye bye.